Was there a selection for the Australian Diamonds team for the World Cup? That was pretty special. Extremely special. I still can't believe it. I'm still pinching myself. I think hearing my name being called out this morning on uh, the Today Show, I think kind of started to make it feel real. I still, yeah, I can't believe it. I'm just so thrilled and excited to be in the World Cup team. Obviously, it must have been a massive dream of yours growing up as a young kid in South Australia to one day play for the Diamonds and how it's coming true. Yeah, I still can't believe it. I guess it's any young girl's dream to make the Diamonds. Um, I, I just honestly still can't believe it. Um, I'm just really happy and really excited to put that um, green and gold dress on. You're going to have some competition in the team. Uh, you're going to have Courtney Bruce there and you're going to have Joe Weston and people like that. Um, how much do you look forward to the competition ahead? Yeah, obviously I love a challenge. Um, I think, yeah, it's a little bit odd because we're enemies with each other at the moment, but I guess once we hit Diamonds Camp, um, yeah, we'll gel well together and I'm really looking forward to working with the girls. Who was the first person you told when you got the call? Um, I actually called Paige just to see how she went. Um, yeah, we're kind of on the phone. Like, Did you get him? Did you get him? And then we both screamed, and I think yeah, Paige had a few tears, but I had to control myself because I was halfway through a, a uni lecture, so I had to go back in there. So um, yeah, obviously mum and dad, and they were really thrilled and excited and proud. So um, that was really yeah, cool. It's a really um, testament to the environment here in the Swiss and that as well. You know, since you've come here, how much you've grown and that, you must be. The club are very proud of you as well. Yeah, I guess without the Swifts, I probably wouldn't be in this position, so I can't thank them enough, and especially to Brian and um, Anita. I think, yeah, at the start of the year we had a meeting, and I think that's where they really instilled all this confidence and self-belief in me, and I think that's what I was missing. So, yeah, I guess it's really cool that I could put it out in the floor, and I haven't gone unnoticed, so, yeah, I can't thank the Swiss family enough.